The message is clear. Campaigners want their partners present up to and including the birth of their babies. Since the start of the pandemic, birthing partners have not been allowed to attend either antenatal appointments or the early stages of labour. Going through your childbirth on your own, trying to figure out when you can let your husband in to you when the, when the maternity lets them in, it's, it's going to be tough, a tough journey to try and figure out when they can come in and give you support. Gary Bird's wife is about to give birth. Like many fathers-to-be, he's stuck outside until hospital staff call him indoors. It should be a happy time. Uh, I think these restrictions are just adding a little bit to our stress unnecessarily at the moment. Yesim Flynn gave birth to her baby Fionn at the weekend. Because of hospital rules, husband Dara can only see him for three hours a day. I'm not there, I can't support her, so she's... Yeah, I've texts where she's saying I'm, she's, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm broken. I'm, I'm, uh, it's just really, really tough. The HSE says hospitals do have the right to impose restrictions if COVID is considered a risk. It's been very, very difficult for mums. It's been very, very difficult for partners as well, particularly in the situ- heartbreaking situations where everything hasn't gone uh, as, as we would all want it to, to go. Ames Ireland, which campaigns for better maternity services, says many parents have been left heartbroken because of the restrictions. Expectant mothers say it's time their needs and those of their partners are now considered by the authorities. They say more protests will take place across the country this week until the current restrictions are relaxed. Dimitri O'Donnell, RTE News, at the Coombe Hospital in Dublin.